Now, they invented team names. They went out with their video cameras, and a couple of them even got the mayor to help them out. If we are on the show, will you watch? I think it would be amazing to have uh, you two on from Ottawa, and I would definitely watch. So you're wondering if you would join us in a dance? Sure. It's Jim Watson. <laughs> Rob Ford would never do this. He's saying as he's dancing. Now that's a little bit of one of uh, Ottawa, one Ottawa team's audition to be a contestant on the Amazing Race Canada. Yesterday was the deadline to apply, and wannabe teams have pulled out all the stops from showing their social consciences to skating on the Rideau Canal in bikinis. That's right. Catherine Kitts and Kate Lalumiel call themselves Team Cat and Kate. They're the ones who got the mayor dancing for their audition. And husband and wife duo Keenan Weller and Julie Kingston have also applied to compete, and they call themselves the B Team. And all four of them are in the studio with me this morning. Good morning to you all. Good morning. You've bought your little mascot here, Julie. Yes. A bee, a bumblebee. Sure thing. Okay, now, you know, I know this seems hard to believe, but there will be some people out there that have never watched The Amazing Race before, don't even know what it's about. So kind of in 30 seconds, give us the rundown. What's the show about? Well, it's uh, the way I'd like to explain it is a giant scavenger hunt, and it'll be te 12 teams of, of two people each, uh, basically doing a giant scavenger hunt across Canada, getting different Different clues along the way and different challenges so it's really about teamwork and about relationships and how you can best uh, solve problems together and get the next clue and do it all fast and being a husband and wife team I suppose you're pretty good at solving some problems together well we're a husband and wife team but we also work together so we kind of have both uh, both um, opportunities to solve problems both personally and professionally so I all think day, all night all day all day <laughs> uh, yeah, 20 years so I think we're, we're pretty practiced. You work together, you live together, yeah. now you want to amazing race together, Keenan. Why? Well, not intimidated by us. Um, <laughs> you know, we've done a lot of things uh, together to build uh, Live, Work, Play, the organization where we work, and this would be something really uh, to do for ourselves because we love the amazing race and we like to see Canada together in a different way. and. Um, solve some challenges that don't have to do with work. It'd be fun. Okay, well, let's go over to team uh, Kat and Kate over here. And Kat, I've been watching your um, audition video for the Amazing Race Canada. Bikinis yeah. on the Rideau Canal. Yep. Do tell us. Well, that was actually Kate's idea. Uh, she kind of had to convince me to partake, but uh, we wanted to do something eye-catching. And right from the outset, that's actually how we start our video. So we wanted people to be like, whoa, what are these girls doing? And what's more... Ottawa than the Rideau Canal. What kind of day was it, um, Kate, when you went out to go skating on the Rideau Canal in your bikini? Um, it had been snowing for about six hours that day, and it was very, very windy. And we actually had to uh, think about postponing filming, and I, I said, no, today is the day. We've got to get it done. The canal might close. And it was minus 12. Ice. Yes. Yeah, somewhere around yeah. there. Yeah. And we fell on the ice as well, so that made it a little <laughs> bit colder than we had anticipated. <laughs> How did people react to you out there, Cass? Oh, there were people, everyone was stopping and taking photos, and uh, kind of like one person came up and said, is this a dare? What are you guys doing? And we're like, we kept just kind of yelling, we're, we're applying for the amazing race. Or, but, uh, but yeah, so I think a lot of people have photos of us that we will never see. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's for the best. Yeah, exactly. that's for the best. And of course, you got Mayor Jim Watson to dance. How did that come about, Kate? Uh, well, we both work for the Orleans Star. Catherine is actually my boss. She's my <laughs> editor. Um, so we do talk to his press sec secretary pretty often. And um, we contacted him and said, you know, this is more of a personal matter, but would <laughs> Mayor Jim Watson be willing to partake in this? And when we went to the uh, mayor's office, we didn't know if he would agree to dance with us or not. So what you see on film is candid, me asking the, the mayor and not knowing what his response is going to be. And what kind of dance does he do? Does he do kind of the funky chicken, <laughs> a bit uh, of running man? It looks a little bit like cross-country skiing, I would have to say. <laughs> a little bit of a shoulder shake there. <laughs> now, of course, on these reality TV shows, uh, Julian and Keenan, uh, uh, sometimes, you know, you expose parts of your life that, you know, are private. And I wonder how you feel about that. Because, of course, when you're under, you know, these intense circumstances, circumstances and you're under a lot of pressure, sometimes real characters come out and mm -hmm. maybe not so appealing characters. So mm -hmm. how are you going to deal with that, Julie? Well, I think um, our private lives are already pretty public um, with the people, that, all the people that we work with, our staff, our volunteers, uh, people that we support and their families. So I think we're pretty 
used to being under the microscope, um, but I think it's still challenging. And and when we were doing our audition tape, what uh, what really our, what I really realized was you forget the cameras there really quickly. So um, I don't think it's going to be that's going to be so challenging. It's more trying to keep be just to to treat people how you want to be treated and to keep that in mind all and, the way through the race. And Keenan, we heard about uh, getting the mayor to dance and uh, ladies in bikinis. What did you do in your audition tape? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We decided not to compete directly against those types of videos. <laughs> I'm 44, for those who don't know. Um, the decision was more to focus on it is a relationship show, and I think we have a pretty interesting relationship, having built an organization for uh, the past 17 years. And, uh, you know, for me, those embarrassing moments, I'm really mad when I don't have a camera to put them on YouTube already. So this is natural for me. It'll be fine. Okay. Now, um, Kat, I know that you're a fan of the program, that it's come to Canada now, but you, you've been watching The Amazing Race before. What do you think makes makes a good duo like what makes when, when you look at the winners of the past is it two people who have the same kind of strategies or does it work when you, that you have two people that have kind of opposing personalities i think a mix is a is a good strategy when two people have different talents but that they complement each other and they can encourage each other in those different areas i think that's what works the best so you know if, if both people think the same way and and enjoy the same things and dislike the same things you're going to get to a challenge and neither person is going to want to do it so i think to have a balance is is the the winning formula mm -hmm. does anybody have any idea what kind of challenges you might face because this is you know whale the amazing blubber. race is all over the world but this yeah. is all over canada right? whale blubber i'm convinced there'll be a whale blubber <laughs> challenge but you'll have to eat some whale blubber which definitely a cn tower challenge it's gonna happen i think maybe some tree planting some tree planting <laughs> mosquitoes anything yeah Kayaking, anybody, it, canoeing yeah okay and you all look quite fit so that's good do you have to have a, a certain kind of fitness level before you apply for this no no, no but I'm, I'm training. You're, are you? Oh, yeah. When are you going to find out if you actually become a contestant? Uh, we don't know, actually. You don't know? Yeah, it's not all that specific. It should be happening in the next month or so. Amazing. Now, is there anything is there anything that you'd like to tell us now that you know might come out on the show later that you'd just like to get out of the way? I'm really not a good map person. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And I have a pretty bad fear of heights, but I recently tried trapeze, so I was in training also, and I managed it. So I'm I'm working on it. Oh, ladies. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about her. Kate is extremely competitive. That will definitely come out like to a <laughs> to an insane degree, um, and uh, she's a little bit forgetful also. Forgetful, <laughs> a little bit. Oh do, well, don't forget cat. <laughs> yeah. If you happen to be eating whale blubber. <laughs> In the north. Passport. Try not to. That's right. Or your passport. That's yeah. right. Well, so you, you wouldn't eat it across Canada. It's, no. it's just in Canada, That's right? right? Okay. I'm bringing mine anyway. You're going to bring yours. <laughs> Be prepared. Someone once said that. Be, right? Be prepared. Be prepared. Right. There you go. Best of luck to you all. And will you keep in touch? Let us know if uh, if you make the cut because, uh, of course, we'd like to uh, track you and, uh, yeah. and, and, and keep in touch. And wouldn't that be great? W would they pick two teams from Ottawa? They should, because we're all quite yeah, awesome. They yeah, should. <laughs> if now you do say will. so yourself. All right. <laughs> Thanks very much, everybody. Have a good weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Julie Kingston and Keenan Weller call themselves the B team, and that's B E E. Where they have a bumblebee mascot, and uh, Kate La Lumiere and uh, Catherine Kitts are team Cat and Kate. Both teams are hoping to be chosen for the Amazing Race Canada, which starts filming in the spring. Canada. Welcome to Parliament Hill in Canada's capital. I'm Julie Kingston and I'm 39 years old and I was born and raised in Ottawa and I've been married to this guy for 11 years. Hi, I'm Keenan Weller, 44 years old. I've been in Ottawa for 40 years. We've worked together for almost 25 years. So, so it's like cramming 25 years of marriage in half the time. And we still love each other. Yes, more than ever. We're a great team in life and in our careers as community leaders. So come with us and find out why we might be the team that runs away with Amazing Race Canada. Let's go! <laughs> we realize some people from other parts of Canada might think of Ottawa as a place that collects paperwork from around the rest of the country, but there's a lot more to this city. There are lots of exciting people here with creative passions, willing to take risks and follow their dreams. Like Colonel Y, who built the Rideau Canal, better known these days as the world's largest 
Nope, longest, actually the world's longest. Largest skater. <laughs> Back in 1995, we left our professional careers and decided to follow our hearts by starting a charitable organization called Live, Work, Play to make this city a better place for people with intellectual disabilities. We had no money and no wealthy friends. All we had was hard work, good ideas, and the drive to make it happen. So here we are 18 years later with a budget of a million dollars, a staff of 11, 120 volunteers, and an entire city getting behind us to help make this community a better place. High fives. <laughs> why not? If you're wondering why we use a bumblebee as a symbol, if you take a good look at one, you wouldn't think it can fly, but it goes 30 miles an hour and has an essential role in the community. So it's all about not judging people and giving them a chance. Sometimes people might look at Julie and I and underestimate us too. That'd be a mistake. When it comes to the two of us, we share a lot of strengths. But we also fill in a lot of important gaps. Julie is a woman of action, and you better get out of the way, because she's coming through whether you like it or not. After more than 20 years, she still scares me sometimes. Like the day we were kayaking an unknown river, and I, I find her around the corner, hanging on to the branches of a tree, trying not to get swept into a raging gorge below. Keenan is a gentle giant, but behind that charming smile lurks a cunning foe with the will to win. What worries me is he likes to have plenty of time to strategize. My nickname for him around the house is Pokemon, because he's pokey. Whether he's preparing a meal or just packing clothes for work, it always takes forever. We want to put our strengths and weaknesses to the test. We're ready for you. Are you ready for us? We've got a huge swarm of supporters here in Ottawa, but with our great teamwork and our fighting spirit, we'll make a big buzz all across this country. But only if you choose the B Team for Amazing Race Canada. Canada. Woo!